What a beauty. So goal today is to hopefully get my first ride in. I need to get my registration stickers put on and I have a couple things I was gonna add on to the slides. So I figure I'll just get that knocked out now. I don't, I don't think I'll do it all season. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get the out of the trailer, put in the garage, do those couple things, and then hopefully get my first ride in. Okay, so here are the couple things I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm not doing too much of this sled this season. I really just kinda wanna try it out as is. Um, obviously, just a couple cosmetic things, and I'm gonna go from this, uh, I think this is a three and a half inch riser, just to a CFR four inch. I got my um, Trick Toys adjustable brake lever, matches the uh, kind of this anodized red on the riser. And then I just got some red CFR grips. Um, these are really great grips, so if I'm having any trouble with the CFR ones, I'm just gonna take them back off and put these back on. But uh, I had wanted to try a set of these last year and I just didn't end up picking up a set. So I kind of ordered these, forgetting that the Lynx had updated uh, grips on it over the Skidoo. So since I bought them, I'll slide them on. It's a quick job anyway. Um, and then if I don't like them, uh, like I said, I'll just switch back. But uh, then I figure I'm gonna put my big stupid New York registration numbers up here. This seems like the best spot for them. Visually, not, you know, ideal, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. So they gotta get put on and uh, I'll put them there. All right, boys, that's the finished product. Red stickers are on, looking terrible as always. Got my four inch CFR um, riser in red. I have my anodized red Trick Toys adjustable brake lever, and I have my red um, CFR Cheetah Factory Racing Signature Grip. So my kind of like theme was to just add a little bit more red to it. Um, from the factory, the sled had a lot of black on it, so. I figured, you know, I'd put the red ski tips on, add some red to the handlebars. Um, I don't know if I would want all the red to be the same or not. I'm, I, I'm kind of going back and forth. I kind of like that this is like the anodized red and the brake lever is like the anodized red. And then I have like the classic um, Lynx Viper red on the grips and on the handlebars. So it just kind of accents it, but it still kind of ties in more red. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to go for a little ride. Just kind of share my thoughts on it. It's really cold today, but um, I definitely wanna try it out before next weekend. So I'm gonna go locally. Hopefully there's enough snow to kind of make it worth it. Um, and we'll see how it goes.
All right, Brad gang, another ride in the books. Um, obviously nothing too amazing, but uh, I was glad to get out there, glad to try this sled out. Conditions were obviously not great, uh, but I got out there and I got to kind of get a feel for it. Um, I had kind of halfway through my ride, I was like not so sure on how I felt about it. I, I liked the sled, but it was hard to develop an opinion, especially with the way the trails are. But um, I had forgotten like one of the most fun aspects of it. Uh, <laughs> just standing as far back as you can and gunning it. And uh, so I, I was just trying to break the belt in a little bit before I started doing that. And then uh, being able to kind of just rip some wheelies. And that's what this sled like wowed me with last year. So the playfulness is obviously there. Um, it'll wheelie as long as you hold the throttle. So that made it a lot of fun. And uh, honestly, in like three inches of snow. So I can only imagine when this thing's in the powder, it's gonna be just dragging the uh, snow flap. And uh, I definitely, was glad I reminded myself of that because today I didn't really get much of a feel for it. Um, I got to hit some bumps and stuff, but the snow cover wasn't really great, so uh, that kind of changes how the sled handles anyway, but got to scratch the itch. I put like 30 miles on, obviously nothing amazing, but uh, I got to try it out, everything went okay, and uh, got to remind myself why I put the 1.75 track on this and why I picked it. So uh, I'm excited to kind of dial it in a little bit more. I did take two clicks out of the front, suspension um, and that kind of made it a little bit more compliant um, especially in some of like the chattery stuff but uh, I'll figure it out and dial it in um, but yeah uh, super glad I picked it and super glad that I get to enjoy the rest of the season on this sled but until next time uh, thanks for watching Brap Gang and we'll see you in the next video look I got it in there Pretty impressed with myself. Absolute pain in the ass, but it's in there.